Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at a recent um, new social media site that uh, Mr. T has chosen to participate in. He recently joined TikTok. And I had several viewers that wrote me and asked me if I could look into why this had happened or if there was a special significance to it. Was it really him? Um, I don't think I'm going to ask the cards about that because I do think with over 5 million um, subscribers on the account that I will show you, I think we've got a thumbs up that this is the official real account of our 45th president. But uh, um I do think there might be some significance or information or just uh, things we need to know about that. You may be aware that here in the United States recently, TikTok has had some bad press and there was even a, uh, there's even been an effort to ban it because of its Chinese ownership. I personally don't have a view on that, but I do have a view on the fact that it really offends me that my elected officials are worried about a social media site ownership and they're not worried about American farmland or home ownership by China. If you're going to worry about the social media site, please worry about our farmland and our homes first. That's uh, just Laura's view, one of the uh, people represented by elected officials and not very well. <laughs> so let's uh, switch the camera and I will let you watch me work with the cards. We're gonna ask for insights and information uh, about you know this joining uh, the social media platform that uh, Mr. T has done, you know, out of the blue, he's joined one after years. Um, this now makes the third social media site he has an active account on. Um, he was reinstated on the X platform, but he has not posted on it. He's very active on his own social media site. And now um, one that has a worldwide following, he has joined TikTok. So <clears throat> I'm going to switch the camera. Before I show you his official page, so you'll know what to look for if you need, if you are new to TikTok. I, I'm fairly new, so um, it's still not a site I'm very comfortable with, but I'm working on getting more comfortable with it, especially since my moderator, Julie, is working on uh, getting a little um, following over there. So hang on, let's look at Mr. T's. Okay, so it'll say real Donald Trump. It's got the blue check mark. Oh, now he's up to 5.2 million followers and over 5 million likes. And uh, so that's what you'll be looking for. There's only one post on it so far. So there we have it. Let's switch the camera and we'll find out what the cards want us to know about, uh, just like I said, if we keep it to insights and information about is there significance, relevance, um, you know, communication information, Let's find out what the universe wants us to know about why Mr. T is now on TikTok. Okay, Mr. T is now on TikTok. We'd like to know just insights and information, you know, including but not limited to significance, relevance, communication involved with this, you know, just what's going on, insights and information. And... Uh, I'm feeling a nudge here to say I'd like to have those insights and information be free of any veiling, obscuring, or um, uh, any attempts to keep that information from being accurate, relevant, and uh, current. Because I don't think there's any reason not to have total clarity here. Okay, we got the King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Judgment, the Emperor, hello, Mr. T. We have the Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, one, two, three major arcana so far, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I am going to share with you, let me see if I can get that center bitter for the camera. Okay, I'm gonna share with you what the cards are telling me, and then we'll look at elements of the cards that lead me to say that. 
So <clears throat> we have the uh, King of Wands here for the uh, the situation. And this is a part of really, well, we got two very strong leadership cards here in the current situation and current uh, row here. The Page of Pentacles is giving our King of, of Wands a little bit of more inspiration of uh, information. So let's take a look at that. Okay. The uh, King of Wands is, is wise and a leadership card. The Page of Pentacles is known to, uh, to talk about worthwhile effort and uh, very diligent, very diligent. So again, this is a well-considered move on the part of Mr. T. It wasn't a whim. Now, why? First of all, he used his judgment and what looked thought back, he and his team thought back what had happened in the previous election cycle where there were shutdowns and uh, um, stopping of accounts and what have you. So he's giving a nod actually to TikTok as a viable social media site, despite the bad press it's getting. He's giving that to tick, uh, a nod to TikTok, I think in the uh, belief and uh, um, surety that he won't suffer that same fate on that site. And uh, just a, a willingness to branch out into a, uh, a social media site that first of all is global and um, isn't known for some of the constraints on information that some other sites are. Our uh, emperor shows up here for the present. That's my Mr. T card. White hat alliance, Mr. T, Mr. T, right there. So, yeah, this was his decision. Now, like I said, he's going to have his team um, do the posting. But just like any other social media site that he does, watch the misspellings, watch um, the crazy capitals. There's, there's usually some information embedded in these posts that... You would think if you weren't awake, a buffoon was doing, but no, There's really, it's really because it's coded communication. In the near future here, we've got, a, yeah, I think there's just a nod in the future that we're going to get some of the usual shenanigans going on with balloting coming up in the United States. Uh, I noticed on my personal accounts, they're going back six months trying to find things that they're objecting about now. Um, so I know to be, go back to kind of the 2016 type of, very careful um, phrasing that I used. So I've been getting a little looser on that. It seemed like I could. It looks like that time is changing. Wheel of Fortune here. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. This is kind of a political thing. So it just, it, when it's politics right now in our world, we're going from dark to light. So this is not worrisome that there's a new social media um, outlet that Mr. T's giving a nod to by any means, none at all. And just a, knowing that in the near future, there may be some shenanigans where they try to pull it again. He's just branching out in ways that can't be touched as much by compromised outlets and media. And a little uh, reassurance for us, we'll be celebrating that, uh, that very temporary um, constraints if they show up. We're coming up to a time of celebration and uh, correction for our world not just our country, but for our world. And that's another reason that he chose a global platform because his personal social media site, while I think he allows people to come in from all over the world, it seems to be pretty much the US and a few Canadians that are active on there. Let's get a couple more cards for other information. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Again, <clears throat> beautiful cards, just letting us know there's nothing to worry about with his social media. Um, choice of his, nothing at all. And in the future, we're going to be real. We've got, look, celebration, going from dark to light, victory. There's just no bad way to read these cards. So he's on there. He's definitely on there. And he will uh, and have his team post relevant things when the time is right. And as always, like I said, watch for the misspellings. Watch for what seems to be grammatical errors, crazy capitals in the middle of a sentence. A lot of times they're nudging you towards um, other insights like the, uh, I think there's at least three meanings to the fact of kafefi. And uh, we laughed at it at first. Those that weren't awakened at that time, I just thought he needed someone to spell check for him. I didn't know about the codes and stuff. I'm learning just like you guys are. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, we need to watch that. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Let's recap. 
I had several viewers that wrote me and said, is there a special significance or reason behind Mr. T joining TikTok? Could you look into that? And one reader even said, is it really him? I think we can set that issue to rest before we, without the read. But we did look into what insights and information about why is he doing this now? Well, first of all, <clears throat> he is, he is, this is his personal professional account, absolutely. And he did it because after reviewing um, some of the things that happened in the last election cycle, he and his team have decided to branch out and uh, use a platform that has a more global application. Now, this may be because he himself is going to at some point have a more global app um, application. We'll find out as, as events unroll. But uh, we had, a, yeah, he, Mr. T was designated with the uh, King of Wands and the Emperor card. So definitely a nod to it is him. It's really him. It's really his account. The uh, Page of Pentacles, worthwhile effort, showed up, letting us know that they decided this was a worthy um, avenue of communication that needed to be opened up and ready to go. The uh, a nod in the near future that there may be some shenanigans like there was in the previous election cycle, making it hard to communicate or things to get shut down. And this was one way to possibly bypass some of that. <clears throat> then we get into the reassuring cards. Wheel of Fortune showed up. When it's politics or our world, we are going from dark to light. This doesn't go backwards. So again, this is part of getting ready for some good big changes that are coming. And if we wanted to know what, the secondary advice card was the celebration of the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about all ages and family members, multi-generational celebration and abundance. Whew, I'm ready for some of that. Queen of Pentacles showed up, very loving, um, sovereign-based type of uh, and generous card. The uh, And a nod to, in the future, guys, we are, we're heading towards some victories that we can celebrate. Absolutely. In the interim, yes, there'll be shenanigans. Yes, we may have to, as I said earlier in this video, uh, resort and revert to being as careful in our speech as we were in 2016. But we did it then, we can do it now. <laughs> so uh, good things are coming and change is happening despite the efforts of the opposition of evil to slow it down or derail it or what have you. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. So, and too often the cards tell me we are coming in on a time of celebration and uh, I'm ready for it. I absolutely am. The uh, uh, That's it for the political part of this video. So if you'd like to take off, you won't miss a thing other than a, a quick afterward I'm gonna have with uh, some of my regular viewers or people that are interested in um, a wider range of topics in politics. And so if you're leaving, I wish you, if you'd like it, love, light, and everything bright. And if you stayed, I just wanted to let you know, I don't want to be exactly precise in telling you this, but I will, you know, so I don't want to narrow it down to the day. But uh, by the weekend, Allie will have a new little sister. And you may not have seen that on Facebook if you don't pop over there and look at my Facebook page. And that's okay. I just put up a post about it. And uh, so we are um, having a little female, um, not a purebred, but she's predominantly ragdoll, uh, named Nova, join our household. And she'll be here by the weekend. So I will introduce you to Nova when she, uh, when she gets here. And uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, we're, we may end up with a third one. I'll just see what the universe wants for us. I thought it was a little interesting. You know, we're told there's no coincidences. Well, a couple months ago, I was talking with my daughter and uh, by email with a couple of friends. And I said, I, I think when I get another cat, because I will, but I think when I do, I'm going to name her Nova. Because I wanted a kind of celestial name that didn't have any negative connotations, that wasn't named for anyone from the underworld or anything like that. You find out later, you go, oh boy, I picked that name wrong. So I went with Nova. Plus... Cats are known when they're frisky to go get zoomies and the thought that, you know, supernova, nova has, so I just thought it'd be fun. And then uh, this week or last week when I found this kitten, she's from Nova Scotia. So Nova from Nova. Must have been a little bit of the reason why the universe nudged me with the thought of Nova, Nova. And uh, so Nova from Nova Scotia is going to be here by the weekend. 
that's it for this video. If you're willing to receive it and you'd love to have it, because I'd sure love to share it with you. I send you love, light, and everything bright. And guys, keep smiling. Keep yourself grounded. And uh, um, don't let politics get you down, okay? Uh, not for long and not deeply. There's just too much good things happening in life. So enjoy that sunshine. Get yourself grounded. Take a bubble bath. Do whatever you need to do to enjoy your life so that you can, for the most part, Keep up with current events without getting bogged down in the emotions that they elicit. In other words, to uh, observe them without absorbing them. Because we don't want to give politics, even the nicest politics, too much of our energy. We want to evolve into a world that needs very minimal oversight. So, or I do, that's where I'm headed. <laughs> So until next time, like I said, love, light, everything bright, be well, smile, enjoy your life. And I thank each and every one of you for being part of this journey. Bye.